Let me let these people go through for a second. What's up, guys? Welcome to my off-season in the bag. Stuff I've been trying, you've seen new discs in the videos. I wanted to give you guys an update on my cart and what's in it. Uh, this is my custom disc golf cart. It's a Zuka cart. I hydro dipped it piece by piece myself using spray paint and water in a huge uh, Rubbermaid container. Um, I got these fenders from Greg Marsh. They are fantastic. Um, diamond plate aluminum vendors they were made to fit this cart specifically so if you have the transit cart I'm not I don't think they'll fit and if you have the LG cart I'm not sure if they'll fit but the regular Zuka backpack cart they go on no problem uh, look up the disc golf uh, no Zuka cart fan page I think on Facebook there's a guy in the group named Greg Marsh uh, he'll hook you up as far as I know it's been a while I bought these a couple years ago but um, just little things on the cart that I like to have. Uh, you know, I've got my 1010 discs, towels, one last year's, and then one of this year's. I always have a real lambskin chamois, best thing in the world when it's raining. It turn, once it gets a little damp, it just becomes a squeegee. I mean, it gets completely off your disc. Um, around back, I have some putter clips. I don't use them for putters. I actually, I did use them for putters for a little while but I actually changed to using them to secure my towels while they're not in use. Uh, I was gonna just you know, put the putter clips to the side, but then I thought about it. I was like, hey, I could use that. So when I'm walking, my towels aren't dragging in the leaves and dirt. Um, up here, I keep my clipboard, my scorecard, my pencil. I got a couple spare pencils there. Uh, I gotta have a well sack at all times. Um, also, another thing, if you have the older version of the Zuka backpack cart, there is like a cutaway in your seat and you have this handle and your putter pouch will actually fit right there perfectly. So another thing I put those clips on there for is just to keep the putter pouch where it is because where I have it, it goes perfectly behind my seat. And I'm not sure if that's by design, if there was something else that was gonna happen with this card, I don't know. Up top, I'm still using the same old clip I was using the last time I did a video. Um, I'll show you guys that, there it is. Um, I guess on to the side pockets. I'm using a PDGA Mini and a GBO Mini, just kind of whatever I feel like using. I got a glass Mini and I got a, you know, you can't have too many, um, but I do. The, uh, I got myself a little Baby Yoda from The Mandalorian, uh, paracord. On the side here, I've got another 1010 discs towel. Um, on this side, I have a couple of more 1010 discs towels. I love my sponsors, 1010 discs. They're amazing. Um, their prices are better than anybody else's, especially if you live in town. Um, I keep some bug spray over here. If you like that smooth transition from talking great about them to the next thing in my cart. Um, and then I have my Bushnell Sport 850. I use this a lot now. It really helps me dial in upshots and just pick a disc. It's helping me to get familiar with where my discs fall. And up here, I usually stick, like if I'm about to start a round, I make room for my mini by taking my wallet out of my back pocket, putting it in there, grabbing a mini, stick it in my pocket. That's the mini I use for the round. Um, sometimes keys will go up here. It's a really nice, it's, it's a pretty spacious pocket. I've seen some people stick a throwing putter or not have a putting pouch and just have their putting putter up there. That works too. On this pocket here, what? Yeah, we're just doing accessories right now. So I have in this is a small little pouch I got off Amazon. I'll try to put a link to it on the screen here. Uh, I've got liquid bandage because I've cut my fingers before playing and then you're bleeding and all that stuff. So it takes you a couple minutes, maybe between holes. Uh, I got a little handy sandy tanny, also known as hand sanitizer. I got some working hands hand cream because I have dry hands. Uh, I got some toothpicks because I'm obsessed with not having stuff stuck in my teeth. It drives me crazy. Um, I've got a battery pack and I've got uh, 
a lightning cable for my phone. And then the newest thing I've put in my bag is kind of a strange one. I know you're probably looking at me like I'm crazy, maybe not, but this is a viewer suggestion. Just watch, I mean, slingshot, man. Slingshots for getting discs out of trees and it works. And now we're moving on to discs. I'll go to my putters. I got two proxies for putting. This is a Cosmic Electron Soft. And switching from the Keystone to this, I got medium initially, but their medium is a little stiffer than Latitude 64, Dynamic Disc, and Westside Discs medium. So I went with Soft. I like the way the Soft feels. Um, I did notice that if it's not Cosmic Electron Soft, if it's just regular Electron Soft, they're pretty soft. These just tend to have a little bit more, I don't know. They're, they're a little more, more solid than the regular Electrons, but I guess why I got soft. Um, starting with my throwing putters, I have a Cosmic Electron Medium proxy. This is going to be hyzer flip, turn over to the right, uh, very straight shot if there's a tailwind. Um, and then moving up in stability, we have a Neutron proxy. I love the proxy. This is my just dead straight. It really reminds me of the times when I was throwing those old Gold Line Limited Edition Mercies. This disc just pops up and goes dead straight. Man, I love a disc that just comes back down straight. It barely finishes left. If you give it height, you know, it's going to naturally just start going left. But on a normal height shot, 15, 20 feet in the air, it's just going up, flipping to flat, going straight, and then just coming down, barely going back left. Uh, my next throwing putter is the Envy. That's if I want a little more stability than the Proxy has. I can actually throw this on a hyzer and it never stands up. It just goes out and to the left. I mean, I could throw it and make it stand up, but I'm not, not, I'm not grabbing an Envy if I need to throw that hard. My next putter, it's not really a putter, it's the Entropy. This disc is amazing. It doesn't have a lot of glide, but it, it goes left when you need to get left um, on putter shots, approach shots. I actually use this one a lot more forehand than I do backhand. This is new to the bag. This is an Electron Matrix. So it's not really an understable mid in production right now, a truly understable mid. I understand they'll be coming out next year with some new discs. Uh, they took a lot of discs out of production. And this is a beat in one. Um, I may have artificially seasoned it just because I needed it, but it was easy to season. You just drop it on the concrete like this three times and now it's flippy. Next is reactors. I love the reactor. Going from the compass to the reactor, there was no transition time. I literally just picked it up and threw it like a compass and it went. It's a little smaller feeling in my hand maybe, I don't know. It feels a little different in the hand, but man, it flies just like the compass. I love it. Um, this pink one is beat in. It does go a lot straighter. Sometimes it turns a little bit. Uh, this trippy one is um, not really beat in. It goes a lot straighter and has a little bit of a finish on the end of it. The Pyro is fantastic. It is my overstable mid-range. It goes straight and then has like twice the fade of the re the has like twice the fade of the reactor. It um, it goes out and then fights back left. Great disc to have. All right, next is my deflector. It's my overstabilist mid-range. Um, very stable. Um, Good for flex shots, forehand approaches, uh, backhands that you want a lot of bite out of. Um, utility disc for sure. On to my fairway drivers. So my understable fairway drivers are the Axiom Insanity. Uh, I am trying the Drift or the Lift. I can't remember which one I got. But it hasn't made the bag yet. I haven't really tested it a whole lot. Um, but I have a very light one, 160, 157. I thought it was 167 and a 175. So this one's really flippy. Uh, rollers, hyzer flips that turn. Um, the Insanity in the Plasma, is that Plasma? Yeah, Plasma Plastic. Um, it's a little more stable. It flips up and just drifts to the right. It doesn't quite like turn over. It, it'll, it'll flip up. If I throw it flat, it'll turn over. But you know, hyzer flip, it's drifting over to the right and then it's coming back down to the middle. On to my babies, these Teslas. I've got a Neutron. Uh, 160. Uh, it's very straight. It has a little hair of a turn, but it has that Tesla fade at the end. So it's just, if it's a little too windy or I need a little bit more left motion than that plasma insanity, I'm pulling this one out. Uh, up next is a 171. Um, my buddy gave me this one. 
When I started trying the MVP stuff out, this is a Central Coast Disc Golf Stamped Neutron. It's a little more stable than that one, doesn't quite turn at all, it just kind of goes straight on a flat release. Uh, and then I have this Proton one that's nice and overstable, kind of reminds me of my Opto X Explorers. Um, this one I love to forehand because it just stands up and goes straight. Um, on to my utility discs, the Fireball. So I've got this one that's a little straighter. This is a Neutron Fireball. With a, I dyed that, it's a 1010 discs, disc golf team stamp. Um, it's a little straighter than this Plasma. This Plasma is just beefy. And I basically only use these if I need like a big forehand hyzer or overhand shots. Uh, I don't throw tomahawks, but I do throw a lot of thumbers and grenades. And I know a lot of people are gonna make fun of the way I grenade, but that's just how I hold the disc. Uh, it's more comfortable to me. Uh, love, love, love that disc. On to my mash babies. So I've got three octanes right now. I was throwing mayhems, but they're just, they were getting too flippy. Once they seasoned, they were way too flippy. Um, I've got this Eclipse octane that's very beat up. It's very flippy. It's about like a mayhem. Um, it'll, it has their flips and goes right. Uh, this one isn't technically in the bag. I swapped it in the bag to try out and then forgot to take it back out and put the other one back in. But y'all get to look at this one. This, this Proton one is pretty much just like that one. It's gonna flip up and go off to the right somewhere. Uh, then I have my Neutron one. It's very domey, very stable. Um, Wesley does disc golf right there on it. I dyed that the other day. Uh, this one is really good for forehands that I want to flip up and ride a little bit to the left and then come back. Um, but mash, man, if I hit this thing flat with any kind of left-right wind, uh, I can even hyzer flip this one into a headwind a little bit and it won't completely flip to a cut roller. Um, this one's nice, this one's really nice. That's a max distance disc right there. I can hit that one hard on Anheuser. And on to my overstable distance drivers, uh, the Panic. I love the Axiom Panic. I was doing the, the uh, Defy for a little while and I loved it. There was nothing wrong with it, but once I tried the Panic, I just the Defies went on the shelf at home. Like, this disc is just comfortable. It feels familiar after having the Octane in my hand. Um, it's just a great disc. Um, you know, right, right around 400 feet, uh, you know, thrown on a hyzer, baby hyzer to flat. Um, flex shots that go, you know, 440. Uh, this thing is, this thing is a very versatile disc. This one's very beat in, 170. This one's 169 and brand new. I have a couple more of these at home that have flight numbers. I don't really notice much of a difference in between them, but. Oh, I forgot about one accessory. How could I? I'm sponsored by these people. My busting e disc golf kneeling pad. Man, but I mean, it is over here. It does keep my discs from falling over. So I did, I did forget it was there for just a second because usually it's up here in this other slot where I have this mini. Um, so that's what I'm throwing, guys. Uh, I'm loving this cart setup. I like the Trekker bag. My only complaint is inside of here, there's this panel that is basically the flooring, the structure. It, it does that, it rolls forward and, and up. I don't, I don't care for it a whole lot, but if you don't have it, then everything kind of sags down here and like gets in the center. And um, I got these wheels from, click gear wheels from uh, Rovic, I think, or something like that. I forgot, I'll find out, I'll put it on the screen where I got those wheels, if you like them. Um, but yeah, this is the setup I've got. So another thing I will mention is down there on the bottom, those two little cups, and this clamp is for a disc retriever pole. Uh, and this side is for an, an umbrella. Actually, this side is for the disc retriever hold. Holds it right there. This side is for my umbrella, and I'll put my umbrella holder right here if it's gonna be rainy. And I'll just flip it over upside down and put a cap over the top of the umbrella and it'll hold it right there. I think that's it, guys. If you like this video, if you like the card, if you have any questions, if I didn't cover something you wanna know about it, just shoot me down in the comments. Uh, I reply to all my comments. Um, if you're asking a question, I'll try to get an answer for you. Um, yeah, man, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and Let's keep doing disc golf.